Hasbro's Mattel's, Galoob's and Jack's Basic elites, hell JNs and battle packs Whether we're buying, selling, trading, counting stacks What you know about hammer locks and torture racks Hardcore like Foley and agile like Lager Action pack boy, you know we got fighters Setting off the smoke alarms, straight fire Here's your host Scotty Mega, welcome to Pile Drive Welcome to Pile Driver. This episode is all male. Well, there's there's a female in it too, but it's an all male episode. Lots of male. Watch it. Mail day. Open your mail day. Kick its ass, sea bass. I was gonna say, I am gonna outsmart this package. I swear. Oh my god, that's sweet. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, show the camera. That right there. How about I that? I never hmm? have expected you to get How about that? Look at that. Mm, that beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Dr. Satan! Dr. Satan! Yeah. You got some garbage. Hell, kids. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, Tom Savini and Lazarus Lee. That's cool. Very fun. All right. Mail day. Woo. Welcome to the Power Driver. So I was gonna have a really cool mail day for Corinne. Um, cheers. Cheers. We just opened one because I wasn't sure what it was. The package was real big and soft, and you know, as just like me, a little fuzzy around the edges. Show them your cool thing. I, I, I didn't order this shit. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's it's a pretty fuzzy jacket. I think it's, it might be a cool jacket. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not for me. It came with belt though. But, hey man. Put it on, I feel like a pirate. But Rinsky got a, a free coat. I feel kind of bad for, like, if this is supposed to actually go to somebody. Thanks, Tom. And this one's from Vlad. Not baddie. Huh? Huh? Never seen this on the show before. It is the Digipack. Mm, that's that's 1,000 corpses. It's missing the digital code part, but otherwise the inside artwork's pretty cool. And of course, rest in wherever you are, Mr. Sid Haig. That's pretty cool. So, yep, that's cool. Um, there's gonna be a lot of mail days in this Pile Driver episode, so stay tuned, Funkers. Stay tuned. So here we are, back in my lovely living room, hanging out, uh, wearing the Shawn Michaels shirt. Yes, it's a vintage, it is a WWF shirt. Got this one at Value City when I was a teenager. I couldn't pass it up, we got a couple of them actually. Anyhow, as you all know, the birthday just happened. Um, my friends are awesome. I mean, Crazy Jay, he hooked me up some cool stuff, which I'm about to show you. He went to the treasure trove, Newberry Town Peddler's Market. Our friend Jason owns that spot. Very cool stuff there. Uh, he also brings in a lot of workers, does a lot of signings and stuff like that. Now with COVID, it's not happening, but please check him out. Support small businesses. I always say it, you should always do it. One of my gifts that I knew he had is that I said, Jay, if you're going down there, please pick this up for me. I will pay you back. But he said, no, 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 birthday present. So, the Vampiro autograph. Pretty happy to have that one. Makes me super, super thrilled. Add it to the collection. So, Vampiro I've been reading about since I was a teenager, and he was doing his stuff in Mexico. So, got a little, got a little COA on the back. Another one that he saw, and you know, he knew he had to get for me. Oh, man. This one's really cool. Some old cardstock. 
1985, Year of the Hulkster. He's rocking the Eye of the Hulkster shirt and a weird look on his face, but that's what I love about the canvas from back when. He's got the cuts in the sleeves. You know, you can't contain those 24 inch pythons. But it's got a little calendar down at the bottom. I love this. I cannot wait to display it. So thank you, Crazy Jay. And thank you, Jason, at the uh, Treasure Trove Toys, man. Always got cool shit going on down there. Uh, Jay's back on his muscle kick and found all the, the Bandai stuff and he's working on completing that. So yeah, man, so much cool stuff. But thank you as always for watching Pile Driver. Thank you Rin Balor for the eight ounce beers. They make me super happy. Two or three at a time. And we're back. So since we last spoke, I had two things arrived in the mail today pretty excited about both of them so eight ounces at a time fucking end in this day anyhow you know i talked about changing up from just wrestling and incorporating the horror and i've done so with the creature feature and everything else but uh been uh, been going crazy over a couple items that i'm i'm really into uh, things have really been uh, getting getting the blood flowing. So it's not it's not this. It was this. This gets the blood flowing too. But this, anyhow, still factory sealed. House of a Thousand Corpses. We got it all sealed up there. Uh huh. Uh huh. You see? You can focus. It's there. Anyhow, factory sealed DVD, House of a Thousand Corpses. I think that takes it up to 11 copies of this movie I have now. Anyhow, talked about this in episode 2C, the outtakes. But uh, one arrived today. Very happy about that. Shout out to Micro Brawler Guy. Always hooking it up. Mr. Thomas Dreamer will join his micro brawling buddies. Whew. Open that up. Love the fact that they did Tommy all bloody. It makes me happy, the kendo stick. So he's gonna go join his other uh, micro brawling buddies on the shelf in the bedroom. I dig that, the accessory, the House of Hardcore shirt, and the Tribute to Dusty on the tights. What's up? Welcome back. Little mail day. Help me open. Wonder what this could be. I don't know. It's a puppy. Probably not a puppy. Man, every single time Listen, you get something from the I, mail, it's not a puppy. I know, and I'm sorry. I feel like a dick for that. We got a piece of cardboard, guys. Yay! Just what I'm. Oh, wait, is that a? It's two pieces of cardboard. That is super cool. What is super cool? So it's like 3D. Yeah, a holographical slip cover. Just gonna have to use the hair dryer to get rid of that sticker, but that's cool. Really cool. Getting there. Maybe, We're getting there. Do you remember um like those little Open it up and see what this is little uh box toys? Like they had a Star Wars one where it was oh, like yeah. Yeah, it would like mirror image or whatever. I still love those things. I can't even think of it for whatever reason. Yeah. It's got one. But cool. We got a slip cover. Yeah, Pretty stoked it. about that. Yeah. All right, mail day. Once again. Mail time. This one's for you. I see you run proofed it. I went ahead and cut it open already. I cut it open for it, just to make it a little easier. This one's cool. I haven't seen these at all myself, so when I saw it, I had to buy it for you. What? Stop looking what? through the pile. Okay, I'm working on it. This part's a little harder. You hear that in the background, we're watching one of our favorite films. Yeah. Look at 
that. That artwork is not like one of the coolest things you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Definitely is not open. Open. And, uh, you open. You to have that luxury at least. Okay. I was gonna say I have to know. Um, if I could see it, it'd be one thing. Yeah. That is cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty Super good. Super cute. Yeah, no Freddie Mercury. Yeah. For my queen. Ha 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 ha! I still love this jacket. So there we have it. There's a little mail day for you. I will rock you. Love it. Have a good day. That's it. Paul Driver. Episode 25, all mail day episode and birthday presents. But anyhow, thanks for tuning in. I'm a funker. You're a funker. And uh, this is going to go up today, <sighs> but dropping on Monday, very special episode where I cover my entire House of a Thousand Corpses DVD collection in detail. Ta-ta for now. Chicken fucker. <laughs>